Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I will break down for you how to start your own t-shirt business on Merch by Amazon. It is free, it is not that difficult as some claim, and it can be done conveniently from the comfort of your own home. And the greatest aspect of this is, guys, you absolutely don't need to run your own shop to do this, but we'll get to the technical details of this learning method just in a moment, so make sure you keep watching. All right, guys, so as you can see, we're on the homepage of Amazon Merge, or as they call this platform now, Amazon Merge On Demand. They changed the name just recently. For those of you who are completely new to earning money by selling t-shirts and other merch on Amazon, let me give you a very quick explanation of how this business model works before we get to the technicalities. It is actually no rocket science, so what this platform does is it gives you the chance to become a content creator and sell your own graphic design through Amazon to potentially millions, over millions of customers from all over the world for a lot of profit. And I'm not exaggerating here, guys, and just take a fast look at these numbers. According to SimilarWeb.com, Amazon has more than 2.2 billion visitors every single month. 2.2 billion, let that sink in for a moment, Amazon is the 12th most frequently visited website in the world and the most frequently visited website in the e-commerce and shopping niche in the United States. And although not all of these 2.2 billion monthly visitors use Amazon to buy t-shirts and merch, you can assume there is a good percentage of customers who actually buy all kinds of clothes like t-shirts, hoodies or sweatshirts, but also other products like mugs, phone cases or pillows on Amazon, which means for you guys, there's a huge, very huge pool of potential customers to profit from. And despite what you might hear people saying about selling t-shirt designs online, running a successful print-on-demand business is actually not that complicated. Platforms such as Amazon Merch will give you the chance to share your graphic designs with the world and feature them on all kinds of products like tees, accessories and more, all of that printed on demand, meaning you as a content creator can focus on providing graphic designs and leave all the rest to the print-on-demand marketplace you have signed up on, the production, the printing, the shipping and even the customer service, all of that with no upfront costs for you, because they will print your graphic design only if a customer has ordered a product, for instance a t-shirt, with your design featured on it, you don't have to bother yourself with stuff like the inventory anymore. Once you have uploaded your artwork through your seller's account here on Amazon Merch and set a price, they will print what's sold and ship the purchased item to the customer. And that's it. With every sold item, you will earn a small amount of money, a so-called royalty. Now that you know how print-on-demand works as a business model, let us find out how much you can potentially expect to make with your own t-shirt designs sold through Amazon. Take this example shirt design here, created for cat lovers. I like cats and maybe three people. Now, that's a pretty funny slogan. Judging by the huge amount of customer satisfaction ratings this one has been given so far, you can assume it has been sold already at least a few hundred times, probably more than that. I'd say a thousand times at least, because you know, only a small percentage of customers actually leave a review or rate the purchased item. So I don't think I have to do the math here. You can imagine how much this seller has made so far if he or she has sold this t-shirt, let's say 2000 times for a price of $15 on average. Now, of course, you as the seller don't keep the entire sales revenue, but only a share of it, a so-called royalty, which would be probably somewhere around $2 or $2.50 for an item that got sold for $15 which would still be a lot of money. And I mean, guys, you won't stop at selling one t-shirt design, but upload and publish actually tens, hundreds, and even thousands of them through your seller account on Amazon Merch. Print on demand is a numbers game, guys. The more you upload, the higher your chances of making more sales, provided your published artwork meets some minimum requirements quality-wise. And since I want this tutorial to be as short and as practical as possible, let us skip the entire sign up stuff and move on to one of the most essential aspects of this business, the design creation process, because all you actually need to sign up on Merch is your normal customer account on Amazon. Once you have submitted a request to join, they will provide you with an expected time frame for a decision and notify you via email of the decision as soon as it has been made. So far, so good. 
Now guys, there are actually two different approaches how to build a profitable print-on-demand business nowadays. The first one would be to upload as many simple text-based designs, such as this example here for cat lovers, on Amazon and also on other marketplaces as possible. Text-based designs such as this one can be created literally in a blink of an eye, giving you the chance to pump out even hundreds or thousands of them per month and that way build up a portfolio of these text-based designs, I mean really masses of them, with all kinds of funny slogans, quotes and sayings within a short period of time. All you need to create simple text-based designs such as this one is a free account on Canva and a moment of your time. Select a font here on the left hand side, type in your text, adjust the alignment, the color, the size and the position of your text and that's it. This is in fact as simple as cutting a cake guys and once you got the hang of it you will be able to pump out masses of these designs in a short period of time to publish and feature them on various products on Amazon but also on other print demand marketplaces such as Redbubble, Zazzle or Etsy to earn royalties from sales. As you can see text-based designs are pretty on demand, people seem to really like wearing t-shirts with these catchy and funny slogans you will find masses of them, I mean really masses, on any print-on-demand marketplace, not solely on Amazon. Which leads us also to the major flaw of mass uploading text-based designs. Since they are so easy to create, you can assume there will be really a lot of people trying to mass upload their own text-based designs and flood the market with them to make a few quick sales with relatively little effort. And that's a huge problem for all of us actually because the more of these text-based designs are on the market, for instance in a cat lover niche, the more difficult it will be for each one of us, for beginners in particular, to land on page one or two with our own text-based design in that niche. I mean you will find hundreds of thousands, actually almost a million t-shirts on Zazzle under the search term t-shirts quote. So basically a million text-based designs you'll have to compete with and outrank with your own version of a funny and catchy slogan featured on a t-shirt. I don't think I have to tell you how likely you are to make any significant amounts of sales with such a huge competition. So what I would do instead is I would make use of a strategy called niche downing and try to build my portfolio of graphic designs not in huge oversaturated niches such as cats or dogs because you can assume to find the most competition in these niches but instead you upload the same design with the same slogan in a sub niche of the given niche like for instance designs for lovers of specific cat breeds like Maine Coon or Persian or Norwegian instead of designs for cat lovers. This will make it a lot easier for you to make sales in the long term simply because there will be a lot less competition to face in these sub niches and the greatest aspect of this is guys you can repeat this technique as often as you like scale up and use the same slogan over and over again if you like and just replace the sub niche use the same slogan or idea for any cat breeds there are or dog breeds or professions or sports or countries and so on and so forth and that way build up a strong portfolio of sub-niche related graphic designs with relatively little effort. Well and that's all for today, if you enjoyed this tutorial hit the like button and I'll see you guys next time.